Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you may be. Now here's a quick video of how to upgrade your Sony A7S 3 to the new firmware 2.00, which has S-Cinetone Picture Profile 11 and Active Stabilization for SNQ mode. So sit back, relax and enjoy this quick tutorial. We're gonna get onto the Sony website and get cracking. To check out which version firmware you're on currently, again, you'll be in the settings, go to option 12, setup option, and all the way down to the version. And there you have it. And I've got 2.0 already because I've updated my camera. Now, hopefully you can see this okay, because I'm just recording from my phone. So you'll go into menu and here, on the settings tab you'll scroll down to usb and then you'll go to connection and make sure you have mass storage picked on the usb connection now even though auto should be able to pick out what you have it doesn't so make sure you are, are on mass storage on the usb connection Okay, so here we are on the Sony website. We'll go under support, under cameras and camcorders. We'll then choose the digital camera option, select interchangeable lens camera, and then we'll pick the seven series. And then the first link is the A7S III. Now you have here two versions. One is for Windows and the other one is for Mac. But please notice that Big Sur is not supported for some reason for the update. So click on the operating system of your choice. And here we have some details about the firmware update. We have, like I said, the s Cinetone profile that makes skin tones much better looking and adds support for active steady shot and SNQ mode. However, it is up to 120 or 100 frames and in general improves the stability of the camera. Now the download button is on the top under the firmware update version 2.0. You've got the blue button there for download and it goes through the remainder of how to download and install. Once you've downloaded the software, run the software and only then connect your camera via the micro USB cable to your computer. And like I said, make sure that USB connection is set to mass storage. After that, the system will go through and tell you which version your camera has and which version you're upgrading to. And it's just a case of pressing next and next and next. And after that, you'll get the confirmation that your camera has been updated to the recent 2.00 version. So as you can see, it is very simple, very easy to follow. I didn't have any issues with the upgrade. It was seamless, smooth, no error messages. If you have any questions, leave them down below in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them for you. In the meantime, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Everybody, goodbye for now.